It might not look like it, but I am inside the Volenfell dungeon. And if you want to know how I ended up here, stay and watch the rest of the video. But let's start from the beginning. One of the new scrubbing abilities coming with the Goldroot chapter is Vault, a bow ability that allows you to perform a backflip and launch yourself backwards into the air. I think you can already see where this is going. Vault can get you into some wacky places. I tested it a bit with loot and let me already tell you, Vault is most likely not going to hit life in its current state, because you can completely break the game with it. But I absolutely love visiting places the player was never supposed to see. So, the first dungeon we went into was Bolenfell, because Luft believed there was a ledge we could potentially jump over to instantly skip to the second boss. So, we started vaulting around and after a while, we managed to climb it, but it didn't end there. If we could find a way to get up the next, much much bigger wall, we could skip straight to the last boss. So, we started vaulting again. I decided to test this spot, but I kept hitting invisible walls. Lucht took a different approach and tried climbing up these pillars and it turned out to be the right approach. If you aim at a very exact spot, you can vault on top of the pillar, then onto the ledge, and then the jump from the ledge is actually super easy to do. And there we go, we are at the end of Volenfell without engaging in any combat. Almost any combat. Taraya is also already there, you can just go and defeat the last boss. And then, if you go back through the tunnel, there's no adds there because this tunnel isn't even supposed to be open, because we didn't pull the lever at the unstable construct boss. Speaking of this side boss, you see these lights in the distance? We'll get there. But back to the tunnel. After you come out, you can completely flabbergast Tremor's skill, Surprise, motherfucker! as he's not expecting anyone to come from this side. I mean, if you try to go back, the door is closed, because we still didn't pull the lever. If we keep running up, we'll find another funny spot, which we can climb up using Bolt. Climbing up these rocks is easy, but then we need to aim at a very specific spot to get on top of this fallen post. From here, we can jump up on top of the highest rock. If we follow this path, we'll end up on top of a strange square. Here, the reality around us starts falling apart. By mounting up, we were able to jump over to the next rock. But it turned out there was no point, and we had to jump down anyway. We ended up right behind the second boss, Quintus. We wandered around a bit more and found the edge of the map, and a seemingly empty hole but it wasn't actually empty. When I jumped down, the assets loaded in, and it turned out to be the tunnel that takes you from Tremor Scale to the last boss. Obviously, I could not escape this hole anymore, so I had to port to the entrance and glitch out again. This time I noticed a whole piece of land further down below, with missing textures, and I decided to jump there. So, see these two lights over there? That's what we're seeing from inside the side level room. Overall, it's a rather vast area that's only meant to be seen from that room. We tried a few other dungeons after that, and the next one where we found a decent skip was Cradle of Shadows. This one took a long time, but we eventually found the sweet spots to jump up towards the lever and completely skip the underground area. We have to jump from the wheelbarrow into the um, enclosure, then climb up the chair onto the fence, walk along the fence to reach its highest point, and jump towards the lever from there. And there we go, you can interact with the lever without killing two first bosses. Now let's move on to the new trial, Lucent Citadel. It's actually extremely easy to glitch out here, even if you're not trying to do anything nefarious. Simply using Vault while running down the stairs in multiple places is going to launch you through the roof, but there isn't really anything interesting there. There is however one spot where we can glitch out and get a much much better look at Lucent Citadel from the outside, and at the surroundings. Behind the entrance there's a small cave and after doing a bunch of vaults that are really hard to describe, you can jump out of the trial itself and wander around the Fargrave-like desert. We can take a closer look at the colossal skeleton remains, or at Fargrave, which you can see in the distance, which is actually a 2D texture. If you go to the south, we'll end up on top of the caverns we're going through after killing the first boss. We can also go around the citadel itself. There is another skeleton next to the bridge leading to the second boss, and there is a pool of water in the place where a massive bone colossus spawns in the last boss fights. The desert itself is quite vast and it takes a moment until you reach the edge of the map, but I didn't find any other points of interest there. And that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, you can comment down below or join our Discord server Wildheart. As always, feedback will be appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch. Thanks for watching and see you next time.